Welcome back, one and all, to the Brexit Estate, hard by the darkest dungeon where this week I'm going to attempt to get a group of low-level heroes closer to third level so I can send them into the farmyard in the near future. I will be interspersing this with forays into the Crimson Court to try and track down the wicked Viscount, but not that week. That being said, where are we? Where are we? Where's our... Rosnav, uh, and who else? Come on, come on, come on. We had a really nice Hellion. There she is, right. So I'm just gonna drag her. I'm gonna pre make this party so I don't forget about it. Sister Senna, you've been languishing in the lower orders for quite some time. Let's get you up there. And, of course, how could we forget the one and only Vernon? Speaking of which, the magnificently talented Asuro Steel has requested I display another new skin of his. It is a skin for a grave robber, and we did recently acquire one who I am sure I renamed Ginny Jora. However, it seems Ginny has a rather nice costume here with some rather funky armour and brightly coloured blades. Let's call her Kira, since apparently her name did not stick last time. Apparently this is a character from Dark Souls and the original character had armour that was very black and Asuro Steel says it was a nightmare trying to get some colour into it. He has, however, done four colour palettes. I'm not sure which one I like. This blue blade might be a little bit much for me. Uh, I like the, kind of like the green one and the initial one. This one, I'm not so sure. It's a little monochrome. So what I'll do is I'll go all the way back through to this one. And we'll use this one because it's the main one he did first and then the others were added on afterwards. So, for this week, we want to go somewhere with a low-level quest, not here, because we still have not encountered this creature yet, and I'm sure it will not be good. I need these heroes to become quite powerful. Let me see, is this the right order? I believe it is. So I need you like that, you like that, you like, ooh, um, yeah. So, what's the reward here? Gentle Tide. We don't need that so much. So I'll stick with just a, a shortish quest for now. However, I was supposed to build a district last time, and I completely forgot to do so. Where are you? There you are, the Altar of Light. I shall absolutely construct this building. Lovely. So now the Crusader, Paladin, Vestal, Flagellant and Seraph will gain additional stun resistance and a bonus to healing skills. Okay. Uh, just a reminder, the Paladin has... Uh, there is an updated version available, but there's a hard style Nexus install and it'll be a bit of a nightmare to go through. But I might update it at some point. So basically I won't be hiring her for a while. So now, in terms of districts, what have we remaining? We have the Outsider's Bonfire, which needs lots and lots and lots of crests. The Training Ring, which needs lots and lots and lots of crests. The Cartographer's Camp, which needs lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of crests. And... Yeah, even more crests. And then Crystal Stuff from the Farmyard. Okay. So, let's look at the remaining town upgrades. Um, this is all crests and busts. I believe, pretty much, I might have something here, but apart from that, that's it. No, crests and busts. So basically, deeds and portraits I can trade in with pretty much impunity. Um get lots of crests or lots of busts. I'll go grab some busts. 
and some crests. There we go. Right. Now. So the medium length mission would be good because it would get the heroes a lot more experience points, but I think taking it gradual and safe for now is probably the best idea. I don't want to mess things up, and I'd like to see things go. Yep, mouse disappeared there, don't worry, I just did a quick uh, parallel check, it should all be fine. Right. That has reduced funds, so, you know, weighing out heavily here could be tricky. Right, so this is going to be a crazy shuffle party. I'm gonna take a few torches, bandages, there are some bleed causes. And oh, one of those. And no need for the blood, this is divine. So essentially, what I'm hoping to do in this mission is to have everyone lurch forwards, repeatedly. This might be a worthwhile party to also take against the Hag, or the Shambler. Personally, I prefer a more static party lineup, but... The smell of rotting fish is almost unbearable. But in the farmyard, something like this is practically required. Okay, I haven't received a lot of comments yet, in fact I haven't received any yet, <laughs> about Senua's skills and I was hoping for some feedback there. So, you know, if you want to go watch the last video, let me know what you've thought about her skills, because I'm, I'm going to be tweaking them and modifying them in the near future, but... Oh great, two gunners. And yet, all is not lost. Decimated. Flippin' it, Kira! Wasn't expecting that. Yeah, you go show him, Kelda. Mace Bash! And now for Marius. Soon he will show you what he's made of. The current goal is to get someone in front of a priestess. <laughs> it may take a while. Oh! Oh yes! Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. Uh, this might also be fairly effective against the Siren. Or the Fanatic. Basically anyone who gets the party out of order. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. A major downside is that... wait, speed 11, 5... okay, that might just work. Um, major downside is that the Crusader can get stuck at the back with not a lot to do if there's no back rank enemies, which is why you give him Inspiring Cry. And nice little bit of protection there. And it's gone. Oh look, lovely. Well, we do have Kira, and she likes to put her little fingers into things and fiddle around. Oh, long, delicate fingers. Suitable for picking pockets, or picking locks, or anything else for that matter. Anything that just needs to be picked up off the ground while no one else is looking. Just, you know, sidle away. Okay. Two curios. I'm leaving these for the return journey. One fight, then a safe room with nothing bad in it, and oh dear, here we have a problem. Well, let's begin. All right, it's a start. It's a start. Thunder Vestal. Let's see if anyone gets the Crimson Curse this encounter. Oh, careful Marius, they're coming for you. Don't you dare. Unnerved. Oh! Unnerved. Strike like a spear from the heavens. A forked bolt of thunder. Oh, he is attracting all of the danger. And by danger, I mean risk of infection. Right, have it. A 
as the fiend falls. Oh, I like that. She just like swings both the knives back. Get in there. Big healing. Well, big enough for this level, you know. We need your faith. That constant optimism. Get back. Right. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Good job. Obliterated. Success so clearly in view. Or is it merely a trick of the light? So that turned out rather nicely. However, it's really gimmicky. And I don't want to turn into like a one trick pony, so I'm obviously going to be looking into other combinations and gimmicks to mess around with. Let's just scrape some of those barnacles off there, pry them off of this shovel, and get this chest open. Oh, nice deeds. We can trade them in when we get back to town. It's probably worth saving up some higher quantities of heirlooms. Oh, but when the brigands attack town, they can destroy building upgrades. So actually, it's worth hanging on to some anyway, just to be able to repair and replace them. Now, Kira, if you could just deal with this delicately. There we go. Lovely. Is there something we can... it's not that. Let's try using some holy water, just in case it does something good. Okay, it was worth a try. Ah! Resilient. Now, that is extra stress heals. That's rather good. I like that. We could do with more of that from time to time in our roster. That is... Oh, ooh, 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 I just hope there's no more blockages. All right. What's in the box? If only treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. More crests. Delightful. Let's move Another on. Another mariner. Another misfortune. After clearing the wreckage that blocks our way, we should proceed down this hallway and into this chamber. In fact, just striking up another light before passing through the door. Oh! Uh. Right, do it. Do it now. No! At least it's not horror at this level. Kill him! Thunder Vestal! Oh yes! Don't pull him forwards, thank you! And then he'll return a favour and try and murder you in the face really hard. Holy Lance! Continue the onslaught. Ooh. Destroy them all. What quirks has he got? I should actually check these two and see what quirks they got. They're doing rather well. Speaking of well, right through the armor. Well nasty. Alright, a bit of healing and some stress removal because stress always mounts up. And some more healing. So this, in fact, used to be a very popular... Uh, I used to like this Grave Robber build, this combination of skills. And she'd just lunge forwards and Shadow Fade back. Of course, Shadow Fade is slightly different now. Let's just go like that. Right in there. But it did mean that she lacked some ability to make ranged attacks towards the back rank from time to time. And occasionally that would have been rather useful. Uh, let's do it. Please don't bleed. Oh! A trifling victory. 
but a victory nonetheless. Oh, Marius, what have you found? <laughs> now his holy lance shall be even more vicious. Right, lady, let's have a look and see what's in here. Oh, nice. Well, you know what? She can jump around so much she doesn't need to worry about move resistance too much anyway. You, she does need to be in the back two to lunge, though, so... Let us hope that there are no more obstacles after that one. I messed up. I should have gone and cleared the obstacle, then picked this up on the way back, because then I wouldn't have that shovel taking up space. It might have been more than one item. And I did think I only had the one inventory space left, but I had two, so it's not too bad. And here goes that last shovel. Let us pray it is the last one we require. I was going to say we need, but haha. <laughs> require works just as well, I suppose. Alright. We are nearly done down here. We haven't really had very many scouting checks. In fact, I'm not sure we've had any. And I should be looking into... You know what? For a grave robber, quick reflexes might actually be worth it. Infirm sounds bad. Uh, yeah, she's, she's going to be getting treated next week when we will hopefully be returning into the Crimson Courtyard once again. However, money is tight, so we might... Well, actually... Come to think of it... Right. We haven't had a lot of stress this run, so we could send this party out right again next week. I don't want to leave the Viscount waiting too long, though. Oh, we might even go all the way to the end. I don't know, because it's a curio, so it's not guaranteed treasure. We've got some... Munchies. Attack of the Munchies. Nom 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 nom. Thundervestal! Oh, oh, Kira, how could you? Don't, Marius. Don't give in to the infection. Ha! Now strike the wicked ones! Very well done. You know what? I think I know what to do there. Get him! Oh, I can't. Can't reach rank 3? Oh, okay, well. What? You? Lovely! There we go, and. Ah, now, now see, he can't get out there and fight. Uh oh, it's only stress, and it's at the back. Right, well, just shuffle on back. Oh, that was bad, that was dumb. Oh well. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. I think when I ran this rogue build previously, I used to use poison darts instead of uh, toxin trickery. I, I used one of her ranged attacks instead of toxin trickery, and it made for a slightly more well rounded grave robber. However, yeah, you know, what do you think of this wonderful, magnificent skin? Now, I am aware that a talented modern community has now made a class featuring this skin. I've tried it out on one of my other saves a bit, haven't tried it enough, and for now I'm just enjoying the skin because I've been asked to show off the skin 
without you know the distraction of the actual class that's now been attached to it. Okay, let's. Oh, sorry. I... You know that tingling in your nose where you think you need to sneeze and then it just doesn't happen, and it carries on for ages. Yeah, suffering that at the moment. And on that tingling note, I think we shall return to town because we don't know what this fight has in store and the curio might not be very rewarding. So yes, let's be this thankful. Morbid aspect. This twisted cavernous maze seems almost traversable. Let's be grateful for our good fortune and appreciate the rewards of our endeavour. All right, Marius. Oh! You know, in a way, that does seem to suit Marius. Might even consider locking that, even though I don't generally like first round stuff. Okay, Kira. Oh, Lethargy. Natural. Wait. Oh, right. Bonus for using no trinkets. Got it. Gertrude. Um, okay. Oh, we might need to treat them a bit then. Finally, the serum is working. And the side effects are manageable. <laughs> <laughs> the time and gold were not spent in vain, however, as today caregivers announced they have succeeded in concocting an effective antidote. Which means that Kira gets to go and have that disease treated gratis, free of charge. There we go. So I think we can now safely say this part. Oh, she's still drinking. Let's see what is going on. Melina is, oh yeah, she's a, oh no, I just, just one more. I just want more. I'm, oh, I'm fine, really, really. I just need a, just one more drink. I'm, 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 next, next time. You guys just, next time. Rosnavi is no longer masochistic, Saren has undergone effective disease treatment and no longer suffers of grey rot, Fenula is no longer fragile, and Zaldur is no longer suffering- wait, 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 wait. I'm just checking that it hasn't failed to progress for a week or something weird, because that has happened before. No, that's all good. Hmm. Sir Galliard, Sir Wrexham, and Rashida have all drank of the blood. Well, we're just lucky we make two vows a week then, I suppose. Alright, is there anyone completely, you know, unex unavoidable at the stagecoach? Anyone we absolutely need? Um, yeah, some of these old skins are a bit knackered and need updating, like this one, for example. I don't believe she's anywhere near remotely fully functional at the moment. Probably still on the Nexus somewhere. I'll have to kind of have a look. But okay. Um, right. It might be worth trying to pick up another occultist. Um, because there's a nice new skin out for the occultist at the moment as a crazy cat lady. Uh, a sorceress with a big giant cat and it's actually interesting because uh, originally when the musketeer was being designed the kickstarter backers were invited to choose between three designs right one would be a kind of evil nasty chaotic warrior clad in mail and wielding a two-handed axe based on the crusader as a crusader reskin Another would be the Musketeer, based on the Arbalest, and then the third one was going to be the Witch, which would have been a reskin of the Occultist. And I quite liked the idea of the Witch character. And I also thought it would be funny if there was a an Occultist reskin as a crazy cat lady who, you know, crazy old lady with cats who might occasionally throw cats at her enemies. And this cat Occultist she's some kind of witch she casts spells and her cat has glowing eyes and she's actually really quite well done 
However, I don't think Hakim is going to suddenly take off a fake beard and explain that he was a woman all along, just too ashamed to show it. He's been with us long enough, um, and developed enough of an identity. I think, uh, maybe another one, but then who would we let go? I don't think we've got anyone we could really let go at the moment. So, with that, I think I'll actually round up the episode. I know it's been a bit short, but hey, Monday night is tabletop night and I didn't get back home till late, so I get to start recording this, or I get to, you know, start uploading this fairly quickly. I hope you've all enjoyed this one, and I'll see you all in the next one. I'll say bye-bye for now, and cheerio!